G'day everybody, John Seville, Acorn Wealth Corp, and this is Executive Summary Time. The uh, S&P 500 has uh, uh, maintained a positive close above the open range of Friday, of course options expiration Friday, setting the new open range for the month. Uh, we had a uh, low of uh, 2116.79 and a high of 2123.89, and we closed uh, confidently higher than that uh, yesterday and have maintained that position in today's trading. So what that suggests is that the market should remain positive until the end of May or at the very least above that 2120 level. So um, the the warning signs uh, around the market, if you want to play the bear argument on that though, or the, uh, is that the Dow Jones Global has yet to break new highs. And of course we get the Fed minutes and uh, Janet Yellen uh, speaking uh, tomorrow. So that's going to uh, have an impact on the market. And as well, if you also look at um, uh, such indexes as the Dow Jones Industrial, you'll see that uh, we didn't have such a... Uh, um, such an impressive kind of reaction as we did on the S&P. Uh, nevertheless, money flow did shoot sharply up. So right now, obeying the rules, uh, we're looking at longs. But uh, we have to be ready to reverse that position if we do break down. This could be a uh, possible head fake, um, and, uh, and we could just see this kind of reverse. Uh, but nevertheless, what the rules are telling us at the moment is technically we should be looking more on the long side. And um, if we reverse beneath that open range, I'll uh, change my viewpoint immediately. Um, to uh, to have a look at both sides of the market, we have uh, uh, two uh, stocks on the short side that were interesting. Uh, Alcoa has had a uh, reasonably sharp breakdown. So we saw 15 million yesterday and 30 million today. So this could be an interesting short if it were to uh, break 12.93 and just kind of uh, follow this down with a stop loss um, just above that uh, 13.50 area. And just keep moving it down above the nine and twenty day moving average as it uh, as this uh, continues to gather momentum. Um, the other uh, option for an entry point I'm looking at here is a rally up to thirteen twenty three. So if we have a a bounce up tomorrow, uh, thirteen twenty three is where I'd be looking at as a possible entry. So two possible entry points, and um, but uh, this this is a soft kind of support zone because it's a, it it was a gradual slow recovery. So I'm not so worried about the high frequency trading, giving it a sharp reversal. Um, and I think that that could uh, be broken, especially if we see market weakness. Uh, the other one was uh, LNCO. <clears throat> and a kind of a similar play, but uh, looking for a breakdown below this kind of $10 level. And uh, if we break that, uh, if we break that, uh, we're looking at basically about uh, 10.13. And if we break through that, we could we could quite likely have a drop down to these lows that we saw previously around 9.47. So we get about uh, roughly a seven eight percent move on uh, LNCO. Now uh, on the long side, uh, a quick update: PTX um, is kind of just uh, uh, hanging around support. But one other one to watch is uh, PLX. And uh, this one's actually been quite interesting. It's uh, broken some significant resistance and went from uh, very low volume, 100,000 yesterday, to 729,000 uh, today. So uh, on the long side, this could be interesting. Uh, I talked about it in trading room tonight about a pullback to around the uh, you know, 220 to 217 area. Uh, but if it, uh, but, but either way you slice it, this could be a, a nice run. And if you look at the weekly chart, you may see why. If we look at the weekly chart, I'm just going to go to my default uh, charting settings so you can see kind of the, all the moving averages. You'll see that we're breaking down through some significant, uh, here we go, weekly. You can see we're, we're coming to this kind of convergence of a whole bunch of moving averages. So you can see that with the 200 week moving averages at 217, which is what we just broke through, is stemming from that big volume break. And... Uh, what we could be seeing here then is a possible um, uh, uh, recovery. And uh, if we have a look at some of where the targets would be, just shy of these two sharp tops, we could be looking at a first stop of around 291 or even 287. And uh, that would be my first target. Uh, but even higher, we could be getting up to that uh, 350 zone. So uh, this one's got some, got a bit of gas behind it. Um, most importantly, if it breaks through this over resist, overhead resistance at 239.
So, um, uh, uh, pos as I said, a pullback to around that 218, 219 zone um, would be a kind of a pullback play. Um, but um, uh, the, 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 key, the key thing will be if it can break that resistance at 237, 238. So, um, the next one was uh, ENZ. And uh, this one's uh, just one on my watch list at this point, but it's uh, again a, a kind of a more of a speculative stock. Just a watch at this point. You can see, however, though it did break that resistance. So if I see some, um, if, if the market's bullish tomorrow, and uh, we get some bullish activity out of this, this went from 181,000 to 962,000. It may be one that I act on tomorrow. And uh, this could, uh, if we look at the overhead resistance, you can see we've got a, a run up. Um, basically, from I'm looking at 263 if it breaks that level up to the 282 level. So just kind of a short little scalp um, between here and here is what I'm looking for on ENZ. And last but not least, PFMT. This was, a again, a very like another speculative stock. It's kind of the, all the ones that were coming up tonight was just kind of uh, uh, these type of speculations. Um, I only bring this up because it was raised in trading room, and I thought I should make a comment on it. Um, it's not one that I'm – I think I prefer the other ones because this has a, a lot of drawdown here and a lot of uh, resistance up here. But um, one to keep your eye on. It does seem to kind of be starting to be turning, but just purely a watch – to uh, to keep on your uh, on your radar, but not definitely not one of my favourites, but uh, certainly one that uh, uh, has been acting uh, interestingly as if something may be going on. Okay, so um, oh, and one last one uh, on the short side to keep on, again on your watch list. I wouldn't be chasing it tomorrow, but uh, Stage Stories uh, announced earnings before market today and had a, and plunged 11.95 percent. This could be the uh, parameters that we're looking for for a bear flag. So uh, keep an eye on this if we get a rally up around to that 17.50 zone tomorrow, and then we consolidate the day after um, with bearish market sentiment. We could be looking at a play later in the week where this could um, uh, plunge about another 11 percent down into this 15.50 mark. But I'm looking. For this to rally back up first, uh, looking for that short covering and looking for a better entry price. So again, one more for the watch, but that should keep your uh, your your trades uh, hunger satisfied. And of course, we'll see you all in the next executive summary.